Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Today, we're gonna to talk more about the Salford Halo VRT, the most adjustable tillage tool on the market. And I wanna to talk to you about how we can make those adjustments. I know a lot of you guys may own tools where you've gotta get out, pull pins, move and shift, and it takes a lot of time to make those adjustments. We're gonna walk through all the different settings that we can do on this VRT and how it can change what you're doing. Now, if you look around us, you can see we've worked part of this field, of course, with the VRT. And to get that black of ground in this July hard dirt, you've got to get pretty aggressive. And we can do that with the VRT. So let's jump right in on how we make some adjustments. So here we've got our roller down pressure adjustment. This flow is always going to be in constant and then you adjust your actual PSI with this knob. So this is a 20 footer, so we can go up to 800 PSI. So if I'm on a finishing pass, I'm gonna run that at max 800 PSI because that basket is in charge of really sizing these clods and making sure that the planter is happy. So if we need to put more down pressure there to make sure we're getting a nice smooth finish, that's done right here. This wing down pressure is really only crucial on 20 and 25 foot tools. Because their wings are a little bit shorter, we have to put some constant down pressure there. That can be done with this knob. And again, you're just making sure those wings don't come up. If they're coming up, increase down pressure. Pretty simple. And so here is our blade adjustment. You can see you've got a highly visible display and this move is gonna be made hydraulically from the cab. You've got this hydraulic cylinder right here that extends and retracts, and that moves those blade bundles to be at different angles. So right now we're at about three degrees. That's a straighter. If you look down at these blades, that's a pretty dang straight pass. These blades do have a little bit of a cup to them, and then they've got a wave to them as well. So at three degrees, we're pretty much running a true vertical tillage pass. And again, keep in mind, every one of these blades is on its own spring. This is not a gang machine. Uh, it's on its own spring. So we can change our, our uh, blade angle, not only from the cab, but we can change that on the fly. When might that come in handy? Let's say you're coming up to a washout or a tire track. Set that more aggressive dig that tire track out, keep going, and move back to your previous setting. Can be done on the fly, extremely easy to do with uh, the push of a hydraulic lever. Now, when we talk about this blade and bearing system, I have a lot of guys that ask us about wear parts. I have yet to date sell any blades or replacement parts for these VRTs yet. These are uh, greaseless bearings and hubs. Uh, have not had any issues with them. And to date, I have not replaced any blades yet. We're getting really long life out of this blade. So really happy about longevity and, uh, and heavy duty build. Like back here at the double rolling basket, again, this is where I was talking, we're putting PSI. I mean, that, that basket's got some serious down pressure and you can see by these lines, when you're going, that basket is constantly crimping and, and basically helping size these clods so that when you come through, you've got a nice, smooth, level surface for that planter to ride onto. So those are some different adjustments and some different settings and features of the Halo VRT. The last thing we're gonna talk about is depth adjustment. Depth adjustment on the VRT is on a sliding scale. It's basically from zero to 10. And what you're gonna do is this is not in inches. This is just a scale of zero to 10. If you're at eight, you're at 80% of max depth for that setting. The reason for this is basket pressure and your tilt can have a big effect on true depth. So 
just because we're set at nine does not mean we're going to nine inches. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, you're gonna have to get out, dig, and see how deep you're truly going. But changing the uh, depth on this is extremely easy. Loosen the slider, set it where you wanna go, cinch it down, and your, your depth is set. So super easy adjustments made out of the cab, highly visible blade degree angle, your tilt is highly visible from the cab, and again, hydraulically adjustable. So that's the VRT, the variable rate tillage tool, and how it can be adjusted to bury corn stalks, crack open and air out fields, be a one pass tool, and everything in between. That's what we're doing today, and thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talk and Shed. Hey, today we are at the field day site and uh, we're doing some preparation here. We had a customer come out this morning and wanted to do a VRT demo. So we're out here in this uh, wheat stubble and uh, we did a demo this morning, but I wanna welcome everyone to our field day, July 17th. We're gonna be in this field right here, uh, starting at 10.30 a.m. You're gonna see tools like this VRT, the Salford 5200, the 2200, uh, strip till units, nitrogen application, a variety of, of uh, application tools. If you've been to our field day before, you know we move quick and we show a lot of uh, different, different pieces of equipment. It's kind of like going to farm progress. And then we go back to the shop and we feed everyone uh, after that. So we don't spend a lot of time out in the field. We're aware of everyone's time and uh, try to keep it moving as fast and smoothly. But July 17th, it's a Wednesday. We invite everyone out here uh, to this field day. I think you're gonna see a lot of equipment that would be of interest to you, whether it's on the planter, the side dress applicator, tillage, or strip till. So we invite you out July 17th. Give us a call for more questions, 10.30 a.m. And thanks for tuning in.